Okay, he is back again, Harold Schoen, and I show you how to tune a truck. Um, we need a hanger and some wheels and washers for the wheels because they have no dual bearings. And we need for the base plates some bushings and some washers too and some screws to put it on the deck. Yeah, so here we go. First we put the wheels on the hanger, on the truck, sorry. <laughs> I take a small washer and a truck and put the washer on the truck. Then I take the wheel and put it on. And it looked like that. Truck, washer, wheel. Okay. Then I must take a nut with my tool that the wheel is spinning, not too much space and not too less, and that's a good setup for a truck. Okay, other side the same, washer, truck, put it on, wheel, on, take the nut with the tool, I put the nut first in the tool and then I drop it and screw it on. That's the way how I do it. Okay, make sure not too much and not too less space between the wheel and the truck. And when you have that ready, the truck is cool. So, the other side is ready too. We have two pieces and two base plates. I tune my trucks first and then I put it on the deck. That's the way how I do it. I don't know why, but I do it. So, now we need some... I take... The same? I don't know how to call it in English, but you know it. <laughs> And I needed to grab things better out of my box. So we need one, two small washer for one truck, and one, and two small washer for the other truck. Then we need screws, four for each truck. One, We need some bushings too. Okay. Um, one, two, three, four. Oh yeah. We need some nuts too for the kingpin. One, two. Okay. So. You've got the hanger and I put on the hanger a small washer, not a big, a small washer. On the small washer, a bushing, it doesn't matter which size, one bushing. On the bushing, oh no, huh? wait, we forgot the, the important thing of the whole shit. 
the uh, period cup. You can, there are different ways to make pivot cups. You can make the pivot cup inside the base plate and put the truck on or you can make the pivot cup on the truck and put it on the base plate. It's, there are two ways I think but both ways were very good. Um, so you have this little thing and I use the way first on the truck. So you get it first on your little pivot thing in front of the truck. Uh, pull as hard as you can. And now I need my razor blade and cut it off. I don't want to cut in my fingers, so... I cut it here on my table, yeah. And it should look like this. Then you take it on a hanger and on a truck and it should look like this. Okay. So you get a next bushing and put it on the top. Go on the top. Okay, next bushing is on the top. And I need again a small washer. There's the small washer on the top. And I need a nut. Here it is. And now I screw it on. You have a bushing down, a washer, bushing, then the truck, then a bushing, then a washer, and then the nut. Here is the truck. How to tune a truck. And there are problems um, cause the nut uh, screws off. So when you roll sometime or make grinds or something, uh, the nut spins the other way and fall off. And I put uh, a small piece of super glue on the nut and tip with my fingers on it. But you need only a super small piece because when you take more, something comes to the bearing and you have fucked up your bearing and your wheel and <laughs> that's really sad and nobody wants that. So take only a little, little piece on the nut and tip with your fingers on it. So you push it into the nut and they will turn not when you roll with it. They turn only when you put the screw, uh, the tool in it and want to turn it. So, here in the front, you have the pivot cup. Between the truck and the wheels, you have a washer. When you have no dual bearing core wheels or something. And yeah, that's a truck. Have fun.